going on guys we're back on the channel with more games dropping mobile games brand new for november there are nine games on today's list but i titled it top 10 because it makes more sense so i'll be sure to share one of my favorites at the very end of the video so don't miss that one even though it's not brand new let's dive in to the first one coming pokemon tcg pocket is the first i want to share with you here today now this one is actually releasing on halloween october 31st so it was close enough to november to be added to today's list this is a card style move around style pokemon game very different than pokemon go but you know has some similarities as well I actually like this one quite a bit because of the card trading element of the game. The cards that you can unlock are actually quite beautiful. They have a 3D effect as well that really give it the feel of something that you would see in a real hard card that's in your hand. So it's an element of trading cards that Pokemon is now doing on mobile that I think is quite nice, social, and great. For collectors and people that just love the IP in general. This one looks like a lot of fun for people that are into this thing. Now take a look at what this actually looks like when you unlock and find yourself a card. Look at the graphics here, how the 3D element of it, how defined it is. Absolutely beautiful. So people that are into that anime style Pokemon art as well could really enjoy this. Let's take a minute and introduce all of you to EVE Galaxy Conquest. If you like compelling sci-fi and you like strategy, this game can definitely be one that you'd be interested in. And I want to take a second and thank EVE Galaxy Conquest for sponsoring today's video. And when you decide that this is for you, use my link in the description to download the game for free. It's worth starting out by letting all of you know that this game was created by the makers of the MMORPG EVE Online, a massively popular successful game. So, the same makers leads us to believe that this could be something pretty good. And this game can be really intense. It's not just that slow style, let's march gameplay. It actually goes fast paced and can really lead to some great battles. And this is one of those social and political games. Whether you like that or not, this one is driven by the players. At the end of the day, each season writes its own story and the game unfolds in a way that is unique to that season and to the players that you align yourself with inside of the game. Again, I wanna thank EVE Galaxy Conquest for sponsoring today's video and urge you to try the game by using my link in the description. Next, we have Carry On, which is also releasing on 931. Yes, on Halloween, but this one actually makes sense for that release date because we're looking at a horror styled and inspired action game. This one is a reverse horror game in which you assume the role of an amorphous creature of unknown origin. You're going to stalk and consume those that imprisoned you and spread the fear and panic throughout the facility. Basically, as you get yourself stronger and stronger, you're going to tear down the prison and acquire more and more devastating abilities, making your path to demolition that much easier. Definitely a cool style game. It's kind of like you're playing as an alien type creature. MWT Tank Battles. This one releases on November 7th. And yeah, you guessed it. It's a military style game where you're playing as a tank, trying to take down anything that you come in contact with. It's a war style game with shooter mechanics and obviously vehicular combat. If you like vehicular combat, tank style games, and you like army situations and settings, this is a game that you very well may enjoy playing. What I also think is really cool about the game is that it uses real tanks and real planes that you would see in the real world. Nothing here is actually made from fiction. It's all very fact-based. Also, the gameplay looks pretty on point. The graphics are very nice, and it's one that I would look forward to being an enthusiast of this genre. The game looks really awesome. I mean, and as I watch the trailer here that's letting us all anticipate this release, it really leaves the feel that you're gonna have a solid gameplay experience on your hands. Avalon, not to be confused with Albion Online, also releases on November 7th. And here we're looking at a card dice style tabletop game mechanic strategy game. It looks really cool. It, this is legit top-down gameplay where you are looking at the tops of their heads. And as you can tell from gameplay right here, everything is very focused on the cards that you unlock, the dice that you roll, and the board that you are playing on. This game combines turn-based tactical combat 
with deck building strategy as well. You're gonna defeat monster hordes and powerful bosses and reap the rewards, treasures, allies, and spells. It's really cool how you're gonna be able to upgrade yourself inside of this game because it's very focused around your cards, which is something that's not really seen in other roguelike style games. Definitely has the tabletop retro style game feel. Honey Grove is up next and this one drops on November 13th. What we're looking at here is a farming sim style casual game. Yes, everything on the list here doesn't have to be an action strategy style game. Things can kind of be a little bit more casual at the same time. Now, maybe Honey Grove is not one that you'd be interested in playing. To be fair, it's not one that I would be interested in playing, but there are people out there that want to know what's coming, even if it's out of the genre that I particularly like. So that's what I'm sharing with you here. Inside of the game, you're going to be farming, you're going to be designing and nurturing your garden of wildflowers where every bloom and harvest will help you revive Honey Grove and make your town and your facilities even stronger. Royal Kingdom is up next and this one releases on the 21st of November. And what we're looking at here is a puzzle style match three adventure game. We see this wizard and we see these characters in many different titles that drop. Well, now we have a newest rendition of those. It's one of those Candy Crush style, get addicted to the gameplay because it's so, well, addicting and fun. Although the game is very simplistic at the same time. It's what you can expect from the genre for those of you that are looking for the next one. Next up is Capybara Go. Why would you play this game? Maybe you love capybaras or maybe you like role playing games. Either way, this one releases on November 22nd and offers you something that is unique, I guess we can say. Basically, all that you're doing inside of the game is going to start and end with the capybara. So I could see people that like this animal wanting the game. I don't know about anybody else. On November 27th, we'll be introduced to Abandoned Planet. And as you can see right here, we're looking at an adventure puzzle style game brought to us in a very old school style graphic pattern. The whole story of the abandoned planet is a wormhole tears open in space and an astronaut is hurled down and crashes on a distant planet. But where is she and where are all the inhabitants of this planet? That's what you're going to have to figure out. And how is she going to get back home? Solve all of these puzzle pieces together in this mystery style 2D pixel art first person point and click adventure. You're getting the idea. The game actually looks pretty cool if you like that 8-bit 2D style pixel art. A lot of people do, and a lot of people like strategy and puzzle style games, so for you guys, that's gonna be right up your alley. The Get Out Kids, it's gonna be available on iOS and it releases on the 29th of November. And I'll tell you what, it's a very unique looking game. It's one of those experience uh, atmospheric style things. And to be honest with you, there is very little information on what this game is actually going to be like. I'm assuming we'll look at some kind of a puzzle game here, but I'm not entirely sure. All I know is when it's coming out and that I probably won't download it myself. But if you're really adventurous and curious, maybe you will. And my Easter egg hidden gem game, the one that has just released that I'm actually loving playing right now, is Grimguard Tactics. This game is all about turn-based strategy tabletop where you have champions like you would in RPG style games that you can upgrade, strengthen, and allow them to go further and further in the campaign, even in dungeons or against other players. You're going to see me put a video out specifically about this game on the channel in just a few days, and it really gives you a good look about what the game is. This is a little preview for you because I quite liked it. Not only the gameplay, not only the mechanics and the gotcha me mechanic where you can get new characters, but it's just straight up fun. It's enjoyable to play and it really looks great. The graphics here are awesome and I actually quite like them. One I definitely recommend. And another thing I'd recommend is that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my video that comes out tomorrow.